Hello everyone. Welcome to Controllers Tech. Today in this video, we will see the low power modes in STM32. Let's take a look at the reference manual first. STM32 F103 have three low power modes. In sleep mode, CPU clock is off and all other clocks kept running. In stop mode, pretty much all clocks can be turned off. And the last is standby mode, which is the deep sleep mode. In this tutorial we will cover the sleep mode. Let's start with the STM32 Cube IDE first. I am using version 1.3.0, and with this version, we got a run button right here. Create a new project. I am using STM32 F103C8 controller. Give some name to the project, and click finish. In the Cube MX, I am first enabling the external crystal for the clock. Next, select the sys, debug, serial wire. Select the UART, and enable the interrupt. Select the external interrupt on pin PA1. Basically, we are going to wake up the device using UART interrupt, and external interrupt on pin PA1. Select GPIO, NVIC tab, and turn on the external interrupt. Let's see the clock setup. I am selecting maximum clock, that is 72 MHz. This is connected to the onboard LED. Click save to generate the project. I am creating a variable to store the string. This string will be transmitted before the controller goes into the sleep mode. LED will be on for 5 seconds. Before going into the sleep mode, the HAL ticks must be suspended. Otherwise the cystic interrupt will wake up the device within 1 millisecond. Turn off the LED just to indicate that the sleep mode is activated. Finally enter the sleep mode. Main regulator will be on, and the wake up will be triggered by the interrupt. When the control reach here, the CPU will go into the sleep. After the wake up is triggered, next statement will be executed. So it is necessary that we resume the HAL ticks first. This string will be printed next and the LED will toggle few times to indicate the wake up.
I am also going to write a UART interrupt callback function. RX data will store the received data from the UART. Start the reception in interrupt mode to receive only one byte of data. As I mentioned earlier, the wake up will be triggered by the UART interrupt, and the external interrupt on PA1. To continue this reception, we must put the same thing inside the callback function also. A little correction guys. In F103C8, the LED pin is active low pin. So, to turn the LED on, we must pull it low. Let's build the code. We will directly run it, as the debugging is not possible with the sleep mode. As you can see, the debugger shuts down automatically. I will reset the controller. Sleep mode will activate in 5 seconds. Take a look at the LED, it goes off means sleep mode is activated. When the button is pressed, the external interrupt triggers and the device wakes up from sleep. You can see the LED blinking. The while loop will run again, and the controller will go back to sleep. On sending the data from the UART, the interrupt will be triggered and the CPU will wake up again. And the same thing will continue again. I also want to show the current consumption during sleep mode. For this purpose, I am using F446RE, as it's easy to measure current in nuclear boards. As you can see, during the normal run, the current consumption is 6.7 mA. When the CPU enters the sleep mode, the current consumption reduces to 1.8 mA. When the external interrupt is triggered, the CPU wakes up again, and current increases. Now let's take a look at the sleep on exit function. When the control exits from the interrupt service routine, the CPU will go to sleep. I will write the callback function for the external interrupt line. These strings will print based on which interrupt is responsible for waking the controller. Now we will enable the sleep on exit function. But before that I am disabling the sleep now function. Also disable the cystic resume, or else it will wake the CPU every one millisecond. Let's flash the code. Currently the CPU is running. As soon as I send some data via the UART, the interrupt is triggered, the processor will process the interrupt, and the CPU will go to sleep. As you can see, no other instruction is being executed, other than the callback functions. Basically, the CPU wakes up, processes the interrupt handler, and goes back to sleep. This is an interrupt-driven control. Let's disable the exit on sleep. But make sure that you enable the cystic before that, or else the delay functions will not work. I am enabling the sleep now function. Let's build this code and run it.
As you can see, when the data is received by UART, the processor goes back to sleep. But when the external interrupt is triggered, sleep on exit is disabled, and the control resumes from the very next statement in the while loop. Which means, this statement gets printed, and the LED will toggle few times. After that the control will start from the beginning of the while loop. HAL tick will be suspended, and sleep on exit will be enabled again. As you can see, whenever the interrupt is triggered from the external pin, the entire while loop will be executed. This is it guys. I hope you understood the sleep mode concept. I will cover stop mode, and suspend mode in the upcoming videos. Keep watching. Have a nice day.